for. Hallelujah. As a body of Christ, we are called to preserve our nation from ruin. The church. We are the one to save our nation. Not the BLP. Or the BLP. Or the NDP. Whatever it is. We, the body of Christ, the righteous. The righteous, amen. When, when, when God was, was looking to destroy Sodom, God said to Abraham, if I can only find some righteous people in there, if I can only find some righteous people in there, I will sin, I will repent, and I will save the nation. God is looking for one righteous soul who will stand in the gap behalf of his people. If we can only find one righteous. Righteous in heart. Righteous in attitude. Righteous in conduct and behavior. We are called to be the salt. Yes. We are called to protect, to preserve, to protect our nation from total destruction by the forces of darkness. Look in our society. Open your eyes, look around, and we can see what is happening within our nation today. We can see the evil and the darkness that is seeking to overcome, to cover the earth. And isn't it funny that it started from within the church? Hmm. The gaze, the, the lifestyle, the behavior. Is being accepted within the church. Are you hearing me? We are not rejecting the people. We are rejecting the spirits that yeah. are attached yeah. Yeah. to their lives. And we are saying we cannot, we cannot afford, amen, to tolerate such within the very presence of the Lord. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. We can only do this through integrity. Integrity represents an aspect of God's holiness. Yeah. And I want to touch a little on integrity this morning. If you didn't understand the holiness of God, then I want to look at the word integrity. Are you hearing me? Only men and women of integrity can truly preserve, protect, and flavor our homes, our churches, our community, and our nation. What is integrity? Integrity is aligning our thoughts, our motivations, our attitudes, and actions with the ethical with the ethical principles found in God's word. In both our personal lives and our ministry, what we believe, what we say, and what we do must be consistent, reliable, and transparent. Yeah. I'm talking about integrity. We must be true representatives of the holiness of God in the earth. Integrity means doing the same thing whether people are with you or whether you stand alone. I'm talking about integrity. Hallelujah. Integrity is doing the right thing, not necessary the popular thing. Right. Are you hearing me? Thank you. I'm talking about integrity. Yes. Hallelujah. Vasti was a woman of integrity. Hello. When her husband, her drunken husband, who was a king, wanted her to come out and dance before a bunch of drunken men. But he did not 
didn't want her to come out with her robe. He wanted her to come out naked, expose herself. She had a choice to make. It was not the popular choice, but it was the choice of integrity. It was the right choice. Mm -hmm. And when you are a man or a woman of integrity, there are times you have to stand alone. Yes. You might not have the crowd. Thank you. you might not have the backing. Thank you might not have the support. At the end of the day, you might not even be popular. All right, Dad. <laughs> but you've gone through history Woo! and being known as a woman who took a stand yes. for holiness, who took a stand for righteousness. Yes. And although she was banished from the kingdom, <laughs> she made true history. Many forgot about her. Actually, many times I've heard about Vasti as a woman who was disobedient, uh -huh. yeah. rebellious. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The king called her, she did not come, and they talk about the rebellious women. The women who, who don't want to hear their husbands, who don't want to obey their husbands. And they say, you can't be like Vasti. That rebellious woman, that's why she was abandoned. She was rebellious because she was a woman of integrity. She did not do the popular thing, but she did the right thing. She maintained her integrity. And that she knew there was a price to pay. Are you hearing me? But she was willing to stand as a woman of integrity. We need men and women of integrity today who will say, I will stand for the holiness of God within my home, within my community, within my workplace. I will stand even if it's just me and me alone. Integrity is being honest. Understanding and having a strong character. It takes a strong character in me to stand up to some stuff. And we as a church of the living God needs to take a stand within our community today, within our nation today. We will say it will not happen in the house of the Lord. It will not come yes. in the presence of the Lord right. because God is a holy God. Right. It will not allow in the house of the Lord. That's it. Amen. We need pastors, we need leaders who will say, not in my church. Not in here, not in here. Not in here. I don't know how many of you read the papers a couple of weeks ago. They blister, pastor, courage. Courage. Amen, Rabbi Courage. Uh, St. Lucy, Annika Church. Because he had to take a stand. Amen. They thought it was Kadu Monday. In St. Lucie a couple of weeks ago, they came in with their short and their all the different things. Color and everything. Naked. Oh, naked. I tell people, we don't be careful. We don't take a stand as they are going to soon come in and bear the suits. But because we want to be the mega church of the day, because we want the people and the money, she's not. the praise in the house of the Lord. We can't speak to them because they will not pay thousand dollar checks, so we cannot offend. Oh my God! It's true. It happened. We do not want to offend, and because we do not want to offend them, because of their titles and their position and the money they are giving to us, we are taking a lot of stuff in the house of the Lord. Your integrity. 